I'm actually curious about how's the traffic in Colombia compared here in Cebu. Not the drug trafficking. <laughs> no, no, not <laughs> drug trafficking. Like the, you know, car, cars. The car traffic. Yeah. yeah. I am um, slightly confused. Are you? Are we talking about traffic? No, no, no. We're, no, we're not talking about <laughs> yeah. drug traffic. No, not not drug trafficking. Like Just road traffic. Like, like literally road like, traffic. Like, yeah. I don't know if you guys know, but so it's probably one of the worst car traffic in the planet. I don't know. Like Where? some yeah, Colombia? Southeast Asia. I don't know. Like no, here. I, here. Yeah, yeah, Philippines. No, yeah. actually, no. So, like oh, the whole Philippines. Yeah, 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 the whole of Philippines. Like Manila is worse, but yeah, Manila is worse. And there are some cities that are worse, but like it's actually mm-hmm. hard to it's actually hard to catch up with Filipino traffic. And Ooh. there's other countries that are also also bad. Mm-hmm. I know India is also India is terrible too. India is mm-hmm. also infamous, but it's not that many countries where the traffic is that bad, <laughs> especially with a developing city like this one. Like it's it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Yeah, like yeah. traffic. Everyone uh, Cebu complains is also about catching up to Manila as well. Yeah, it's there's really a lot of people right there. Yeah, because the difference <laughs> I think is that Manila huh. it's big. Manila is very big. Yeah, yeah. And the roads are much bigger. There's better infrastructure. Yeah. Whereas here, it's still a growing city. That's the problem with being the second city. You don't have the same infrastructure, mm-hmm. but the fact that you are the second city, you have. People coming in from all over the place yeah. as well, especially from Visayas and Mindanao coming here. Because most of Mindanao speak Visaya, so there's no language barrier. Yeah. Mm. yeah, so that is a huge problem. Manila is just the fact that they're the capital, a lot of the resources go there. Right? Yeah. yeah, it needs to flow. So, you cannot stop the capital. Mm-hmm. If the capital stops, like the whole economy of the country class stops. Yeah. So you can't stop it. So you need, like, you need to secure, mm. you need to secure the infrastructure, and you need to secure the traffic of goods and yeah, yeah. There. the constraints of Cebu as well. It's like um, so many buildings were built already. You know, yeah. are you gonna tear down buildings to make roads? That that mm, should be done. That, no, that that happens eventually to mm-hmm. everyone. Oh, like that's already not, happening. The, yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah. Happen. it's already they're, happening. Yeah. They're they're take, they're buying back, yeah, buying yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, but, yeah, maybe the solution here is like adding trains. I think I would love that. Yeah, yeah, like especially. I mean, he's a strong believer in that. Yes. Yeah, Talisay yeah. to Cebu City yeah. to Lashon to Mandawe, like yeah. just add that. And intercity then, yeah. train first, but yeah, or, or even even intracity first. We have argued intra-city, about this a lot, yeah. though, no, no, because. You know, I think the best solution to that is to minimize the cars. Yeah, so Jamie exactly. thinks to minimize the cars. Yeah, yeah, mm. that, that's, 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 that's what, that's what trains, I think too. You're, gonna, you're just gonna, gonna make the road bigger. Yeah. So she's saying that if you like the solution is not just to make uh, bigger roads because yeah, they're just yeah. gonna it's just gonna end up with more you cars. The solution to, is yeah. add more like the pay for tax mm-hmm. and cars. You want yeah. to disincentivize yeah, yeah, yeah. people. Yeah. You want exactly. to dis- dis- disincentivize the population to yes, use cars. Yes, yes. Any method. Well, not, not not just that. So that's what that's where we argued it. we argued about this before, right? Huh? So your argument was that just adding trains and I was adding the same as what Jamie was talking about. Where you really need it's not just the fact that um, public transport becomes available, mm. but it's also like what you said to uh, decentralize. Yeah. Cars are st- cars are too accessible in Cebu. Public, yes, public too, and too some accessible. of them don't even have mm-hmm. access. Yeah, I, yeah, I true. I think I think public transport is enough to disincentivize, but not fast enough. I disagree. Not fast enough. The because city is, it's the too city accessible. Is growing, no. Like he said, it's, it's too yeah, accessible the city, here. The city is Anyone growing, can get yeah, a vehicle. It's because, it's because uh, the wealth of the city and the, the whole city is growing faster mm-hmm. than you can get people start switching to trains. Vehicle so prices need, are also lowering. Um, getting a car load is very easy. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because of yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, cars are too accessible. That's because the thing. I, think, I, think, a good, I think a good example is Singapore. Like they... I mean, the tax there is really high. It's for really the cars. high. Yeah, it's for really vehicles. high. And plus, um, uh, I, I, I might be butchering this, but I'm pretty sure you cannot have a a car needs to be checked every few years, Ooh. like if it can be used or not. Yeah. Yeah. Because some of them are not running. Mm-hmm. So they, yeah. Where here is like jeepneys are how old since World War Two? Nah. Yeah. Nah. World War Two, man. Mm-hmm. That's insane. Yeah. Like the emissions from that shit. Oh my god. Like we could just we could be the sole problem of sole causers of uh, global warming. All of them or the design? Are you talking about the jeeps themselves? Jeeps the themselves. Design? Jeeps themselves. So there has not been production of jeeps. Those oh. ones, those models are all as fun. The other ones that they use are like it's kind of uh, 
not too new, but it's a recent-ish model. It's yeah. called L300. Uh-huh. Yeah, which is a very popular World choice. World War II But Philippines. no one uses What's Jeepney as, like, no one uses L300 as Jeepneys, though. I haven't seen one. You really. think so? Yeah. Because I, I have seen. I have seen. No. Yeah. No, no, no. I've no. seen. Yeah. L300 is too expensive to become a Jeepney. It's definitely too expensive. Yeah. But I have seen it. Yeah. That, that's the only no. That's the only noticeable one I've seen. But the rest are old. Old as yeah. fuck. World War II, man. How does... I don't... I, it doesn't, the math doesn't check out in my mind. That's 40s. Philippines yeah. is not... Philippines has been in a exponential growth no, since no, kind you're of wrong, recently. You're wrong. You're wrong. It's Still, not, there's not, no world way, they, not World War. I don't think so. Wrong. It cannot be that old. Like not Philippines, World War? Philippines yeah. is not... Because it was left behind by the Americans. Nah, I don't think. It was left behind by the Americans. That's the story of jeepneys. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's how they... No, like those models are like phased out mm. already. Mm. Like the jeepneys you see right now, so, especially the multi cabs one. Yeah, like they're new. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. 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 Like Fair. those one? jeepneys that like on World War didn't survive. Mm. Like, you think so? No, yeah. it's not. It's not because I'm pretty they didn't sure. Sur- what do you mean? Didn't survive? Didn't survive the war? No, no, not just, survive like, they, the war. Like, like, it's already not usable. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because they're so old. But regardless, they are old as fuck. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of regardless, course. they're old as fuck. Yeah, yeah. Yeah.